Going stir crazy would be an understatement of what's going on right now, guys. Hello, and welcome to Trucking with Schmidt. What is today? Today is Friday. We've been off work, out of the truck, for coming on three weeks now. No, we took a week off before we went on vacation. We went to the Black Hills to the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally, and then, uh, we had our incident where we rolled over the side by side and I smacked my head on a rock. I was just fine, if you remember, towards the end of the week out there at the rally. I got home and then all beat broke loose. Dizziness, the whole works, the whole everything. It just was not pleasant. So we took another week off. And like I said, we are coming up on Friday now. Well, Wednesday. We did some work around the house. I was not all there. And then uh, Thursday, so I decided to lay around all day. Thursday was miserable. I, I don't know if it's because I laid around too much or what the deal was, but Thursday was miserable. I was, if I moved, I got sick. I was dizzy. I was lightheaded. So today is Friday and uh, we need to get outside the house. I'm feeling pretty good actually. A little lightheaded, but the dizziness isn't there for right now. So as you can see, we're cleaning up the back out here. We do need to get first class back up and running because when I parked her and uh, you know that cooler I use in the back for my drinks, I left it plugged in. Since I left it plugged in, it drained my batteries. So I do need to put the charger on that and get that thing up and running. But today we're just going to dink around the house outside and try to do some things that maybe Warden will allow. Warden, yes, my wife, she is a very strict nurse or doctor, whatever which one you want to say. And she's been on my case about relaxation. It's almost impossible to do. It, it is. I've tried and I was miserable yesterday. There you go. They've always had sprinklers on no, the soccer fields. No, no, no. Yeah, they have. No, they have. Yeah, yeah, they have. They just don't use them all the time, but yeah, they've always had sprinklers on the soccer fields.
we figured we're gonna go for a little walk. We just will move the pickup away from the burn pile. You got this driving thing covered, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you're on it. I'll let you go first again. Those darn grasshoppers, right, son? They're all over the place at this Does it? Yeah. Good. Look at all of them. Yeah, there's a lot of grasshoppers. That's your worst nightmare. Yeah. Wow. The river's barely flowing. Hard to believe during flood season that river is all the way up over, up into those beans, isn't it? Grab it. Cool. Bring her on in when you come in. What is it? Clam. It's alive. I'm it heavy in it. Huh? Heavy. I'm bringing her. There's probably a pearl inside this thing. <laughs> There's probably a pearl inside this thing. But it is alive. It is? Yeah. You gonna put him back where you found him? Mm -hmm. Okay. People eat those things. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> He was buried a little bit to start with, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. he had to get out of the yeah. Freshwater mussel, freshwater clam. I'm not sure if there was any pearls in that one or not. We kind of figured we'd just leave it be because there are certain species of freshwater clams that are endangered. You're not really supposed to mess with them. I don't think that was one though. Frustration has kicked in bigger than life right now though. I was feeling great, feeling really good. As I'm standing here though, it's it's hard to keep balance, you know, I just want to wobble around and the head is pounding again. This is very annoying. I wish to be in the truck Monday. I kinda have to be in the truck Monday. There's only so long a truck can sit idle without moving before uh panic starts to set in if you guys know what I mean.
Go grab some food. Okay. Grasshoppers. Really? No, I scared them all away for you, buddy. So, this is Frisbee Golf? Yeah. What's the goal of it? You just gotta get it in the basket or do you gotta get it in the chains? I think you have to get it in the basket. I think you have to get it in the basket. I think if you get it in the chains, it's something good or something out of me. I hear you. I can wash mine off if you don't. You just wash yours off, or I'll wash mine off. Hey, look at that. At least I know my shoes can hold water. I bet they can't hold the water out. That's okay. They're just shoes. <sighs> Dizzy. Nauseous. I'm ready to be done with this. This is ridiculous. This should not be taking this long. All right, well, gonna go back to our normal routine. Let the batteries charge up on the truck. Go sit in a dark room and stare at a wall. Well, before I go hibernate into a room because of my dizziness and everything remember my dad's a paramedic and my mom's an EMT I'm gonna have them check my blood sugar real quick just to make sure it's not blood sugar related and that'd be the bear if it was the way I eat it wouldn't surprise me feeling better oh I want you to check my blood sugar. Mom, check my blood sugar. I want to make sure it's not that. Here's my hand, Mommy. What are you going to do to it? I'm going to poke it with a needle. Whoa! I thought you could check blood pressure without poking people with needles. No, blood sugar you have. Blood sugar. Blood sugar. Blood sugar. Okay. Blood. Blood. Is it going to hurt? You was? That's a big needle. 
Ow! Holy crap! That hurt! Do you remember how to do this, though? Yes! Okay, okay, I'm just checking. Once a remember. mother, always a mother, or an EMT. I was going to say, moms don't usually do this. I'm just asking. Well, the blood sugar was okay. 78. That's if mom trusts her machine. She says her machine's really, really old. Blood pressure was okay. No, it's normally low. So, let's go home, sit in my dark room, and stare at a wall. Well, you know how everybody keeps saying, take it easy, take it easy. Make sure you listen to what the doctor says or warden says. You know, concussions are a serious thing. Don't screw around with them. Or you hear the people say, you know, I got a concussion back when I was younger. Boy, I wish I would have listened to the docs or listened to whoever and not did anything. Because, man, I, I have side effects now, and if I would have just relaxed, I wouldn't have those side effects. Well, you guys that own your own trucks, you know what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> the truck hasn't moved in a little bit. Yes, you always build up a little nest egg for stuff like this, but you, you hate seeing that nest egg go away. I'm trying to speak here, Opie. Yes, I know, I'm whining. Guys, I got the semi moved around back. Me and little bud went down to the river. And I'm glad we did. All the re-recording today and everything with the different angles and different shots, that was all little bud. He set the camera up for me. I told him, hey, put that there, put that there, and he did it all the whole, th whole thing. Or see if you're edited up for me now, huh? He does pretty good at editing. I could, I could let him edit this video up. Uh, thank you again for all the uh, well wishes and all that stuff you guys been telling me and the stories you've been telling me. I'm trying guys, I really am trying. I'm not trying hard enough apparently, because every time I think I'm better. The main goal was I need to be in the truck by Monday, so I figured okay, I'm feeling better, I need to get outside and test myself, see if I'm getting better, see if this is working. Opie, Op, turn around. Neighbors. Well, guess what? I need to go back into the dark room, into my safe space, I guess you could say. Short video, you guys stay safe, as always. I'm hoping to see you sometime, or see you next time. It'd be nice behind the wheel of the truck, wouldn't it? We'll get there. See you later.